We start with the latest on Russia's war in Ukraine. Kyiv is calling Belarus a nuclear hostage after a deal between Moscow and Minsk. Russian President Vladimir Putin says Moscow will place tactical nuclear weapons in Belarus. Dominic Valaitis has more from London. These are tactical nuclear weapons we're talking about here, designed to be used on the battlefield. They aren't the large yield strategic nuclear weapons um, that are capable of wiping out cities. And I should also add that Russia already has planes and missile systems in place in Belarus that are capable of uh, delivering uh, these smaller yield tactical uh, nuclear warheads. But in terms of the detail, Hillary, Putin told State TV the move would not violate nuclear non-proliferation agreements, nor would Moscow be transferring control of the weapons to Minsk. And although he didn't specify how many or when these weapons would be transferred, he did say Russia will start training crews on how to use them from next week, while a storage facility in Belarus to house the weapons will be completed by July 1st. Uh, Putin is really likening his plans, Hillary, to, to station nukes in, in Belarus to the United States placing its uh, weapons in Europe. And he also claimed that Belarus's president, Alexander Lukashenko, has been asking for this type of weapon to be deployed in his country for, for quite some time now. Hillary. And Dom, um, we have heard reaction from Ukraine today. So what can you tell us about what we've heard? Yeah, that's right. We've heard from uh, one of President Zelensky's top security advisers, and he warned that the move to station these weapons in Belarus would destabilize the country, which he said had been taken hostage by Moscow. He said the move would effectively be a, a kind of PR disaster for Putin and Russia in Belarusian society. Uh, the United States, though, has also reacted to the news. Hillary Washington is actually playing down concerns about it, saying it doesn't believe Russia is preparing to use nuclear weapons in the war in Ukraine. Uh, that said, it is significant because this will be the first time since the mid-90s that Russia will base weapons of this type beyond its borders. It is one of the country's most pronounced nuclear signals since the beginning of its invasion of Ukraine, and it will undoubtedly expand Russia's nuclear strike capability along NATO's eastern border at a time of growing tensions with the West. That was Dominic Valaitis for us in London.